Grenada continues to see a downward trend with COVID-19 and related deaths. Now the question is, how do we as a country go forward? Dr. Francis Martin says while we are seeing the backside of this outbreak, to ensure this trend continues, everyone must play their role. Three things that we know stop COVID. There, there, there's no magic to it. And now we have a fourth measure. The three measures that stop COVID is wearing a mask uh, satisfactorily, um, sanitizing uh, your hands or cleaning your hands as most often as you can, and a respectable practical distancing. Mm -hmm. Those are the only three things that we know in the world that stop COVID, and that story is not going to change. It will com continue to be the same. Now we have an additional tool, which is a fourth tool that I call it, and that's the vaccination. As I've said many times before, vaccination is not the only way to get out of the pandemic. There are other ways to get out of the pandemic, but at the, at the moment, vaccination is the easiest, the simplest, and the most practical. We don't see any other way of doing it than to adopt a all of society shared responsibility approach. It has to be shared responsibility, all of society involvement. It cannot be Ministry of Health or government alone. As a matter of fact, Ministry and government right now are basically powerless to stop whatever is happening at the community level. It has to be shared responses and shared responsibilities. So to my mind, the, the strategy has to do how do we engage community at their levels what are the strategies that helps community um, community uh, activities to be successful? Look and see what has been successful in communities in raising awareness and helping people to take ownership of the behaviors and what have you. Dr. Martin spoke about some of the changes he encountered on his education drives throughout the country, informing people about COVID-19 and the value of vaccination in preventing a second wave. There are evidence that it is possible to change people's view on those issues. But of course, there are some people who are still very, very adamant about that. But because of the numbers of uh, sessions that I've been doing, at the end of every session on COVID and vaccinations, I have converters mm -hmm. thanking for the information, understanding much more better now, and making the decision to go forward. And I would call it go forward to stop the second wave. Mm -hmm. They go forward to take the vaccine, but to me taking the vaccine is to stop the second wave. Mm -hmm. So I am very hopeful and have faith that we are going to get there. As of Sunday night, Grenada has 368 active cases, of which seven are new. There are three deaths and 37 remain hospitalized. Since the first COVID-19 case was recorded in Grenada in March 2020, a total of 5,626 cases were recorded, with 5,078 recoveries and 180 deaths. Cherry and Blackman Stephen, GBN News.